What's up? Welcome into your daily Buckeye Blitz for a Saturday, May 6, 2023. Glad to be back with you here on this lovely weekend. Hope you're having a good one. Hope your weather is primo wherever you are. Oh, boy. It's been a while since we talked recruiting. I know you guys are dying for it, and I'm here to give it to you. Yes, I am. I'm the man for you. We're talking recruiting today, though, focusing on the offense. I got so much news, so much stuff to get into. Um, we got some portal updates, and I'm going to give you all the portal updates here first. Then we're going to get into the offensive side of the ball. We're talking 2024 class today, and then tomorrow we're going to talk defense, same 2024 class, okay? So give you the latest and greatest what's happening, and uh, let's hop right into it. we got a lot to get into. So portal news. So the Buckeyes, you know, if you haven't noticed yet, um, they handle transfers very differently, very quietly. They ask them not to um, – put their stuff out on social media, you know. Uh, so that's why we haven't seen a lot with Taiwan Malone. Um, and sometimes it's just the player's preference too, though. So um, the schools that have contacted Taiwan Malone, he released this list this, a few days ago. Uh, Miami, Oregon, Penn State, USC, Michigan, Michigan State, and Ohio State. Okay, so all those schools have contacted him. Now, he has not visited all of them. Uh, we definitely know he's visited Ohio State. He's supposed to, if he hasn't been to Miami, he was supposed to go yesterday. But if he hasn't yet, Miami's in the works. I'm not sure if he's going to go all the way out to Oregon. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if he, uh, who knows? I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> Anyways, um, so everybody is in on, on Taiwan Malone. And there's an outside shot. He could go back to Ole Miss. There is that possibility. And this could be just a play uh, to, to get more NIL dollars and things like that. So, uh, we'll see what happens. I'll keep you up to date. Um, another dude, Jalen key. So last time we talked about him, he's a safety from UAB. He's in the portal. Uh, he's visited, uh, he had o OSU in his top six, uh, visited Ohio state, uh, again, very hush, hush, quiet kind of, uh, visit. He's also visited Alabama, uh, I'm shocked somewhat that the Buckeyes are going after another safety right now. I know that um, Ryan Day is trying to do everything he can to bolster the, the defense and give them all the resources they need. Um, I'm just, I'm not sure we need him, honestly. Um, he's a really good player. Uh, definitely doesn't belong at UAB, but we'll see what happens with him. I thought he just put Ohio State in his top six, you know, for the clicks, honestly. So we'll see what happens there. But um, I wouldn't get my hopes up. And I don't know what – do we really need him? I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think we need another safety in that room? I think we got a problem playing the right safeties, like Sonny Styles, et cetera. So uh, I think that's more of the issue. But if they want to add depth, all right. Uh, anyways, uh, last little bit of portal news. Uh, Buckeye former uh, wide receiver Caleb Brown, who dropped, dropped, jumped, dropped, whatever, into the portal last week at the, the 11th hour, committed to Iowa. So, yeah, uh, good luck. Instantly, they're their best player on offense. You can't argue that, right? <laughs> he hasn't even played a snap of offense for the Buckeyes. So, anyway. Good luck, Caleb Brown. Wish you all the best. Maybe you guys, maybe you can help get Iowa over that 25 points a game threshold. Anyway, um, so let's start talking about some recruiting here. Um, we've got limited spots on offense remaining. You know, uh, we've got 13 commits after a monster spring uh, recruiting-wise. Uh, 11 of the 13, though, are, are on offense. So that kind of narrows down the focus for the offensive coaches, right? Um, so let's start with Hartline at, and the receivers. He definitely wants one more. Uh, so he lost two wide receivers to the portal uh, from the 2022 class. And most likely uh, the top four receivers 
in this 2023 roster are headed off to the NFL. So whack right there, six dudes gone uh, after this season. So you got the five stars coming in, Jeremiah Smith from South Florida, Mylon Graham from Indiana. Uh, the third guy continues to be a high priority for the Buckeyes. Uh, the top target still remains Jeremiah McClellan from Christian Brothers College in St. Louis, the four star, um, also a former high school of Cam Brown, Cam Bab. So he's the top target. But if he does not want to jump in soon and Brian Hartline puts the squeeze on him, it opens the door for two other guys, Kaylin Adams from Virginia Beach and uh, Elijah Moore from Baltimore. Uh, Adams is a 6'1", 175 pounder. He's a four star. Uh, Elijah Moore is 6'4", 190. He's a three star. Don't confuse Elijah Moore with TJ Moore or Terrence Moore. Two guys, TJ Moore and Terrence Moore are the same. So I got confused the other day. Anyways, um, both Adams and Elijah Moore visited Ohio State in the spring. So that's key. You know, watch what they do, not what they say. Uh, Terrence Moore is from Tampa and has not visited. Hartline dropped in on him this week just to gauge his interest in Ohio State. And so we'll see if if he's serious, you know, he's he's going to have to to get to campus soon, you know, like this summer. Um, uh, just to finish up on T.J. Moore, he's 6'3", 190, so similar size to um, Elijah Moore. The two Moore guys are, are in that 6'3", 6'4", 190 range. Um, Jojo Trader, in my opinion, the ship has sailed for him. Uh, he's a pure slot receiver. So whether they get Trader or not, they're, they're still going to pursue a, a slot. Maybe if they, if they go after a fourth receiver, I don't think it's a high priority right now. So again, I'm out on Trader and it's not a big deal. Um, well, let's look at tight end now. Uh, Demarion Witten. So Buckeyes won a two-man class. We know that. We've known that for a long time. Uh, Witten, a 6'3", 220-pounder out of Cleveland Glenville, uh, four-star. Uh, still has a strong relationship with Keenan Bailey and the Buckeyes. Um, but a decision's probably going to come in mid middle of summer, so June, July. And Ohio State believes he is highly undervalued by the rest of the programs across the country. So, um He's a perfect complement to Max LeBlanc. Um, and I think Keenan Bailey's probably not even looking at other tight ends right now, uh, at least in this class. So uh, at least until Witten makes a, a decision. So assuming he will be a Buckeye at some point, uh, I think we're in good shape there. It's just a matter of, you know, waiting. O-line, we got to talk O-line. Justin Fry wants two more O-linemen. I thought he might just need one since he got the transfer Josh Simmons last week, but uh, I think he wants, we're hearing that he wants to go uh, after two more. So he's got the four in the class of 24, Ian Moore, Mark Nave, Deontay and Devontae Armstrong. So if I can land two more big time national linemen that will make this, this class outstanding as far as the old line is concerned, so that's the focus going after big fish. Um, so you got the four star Brandon Baker, 6'5, 285. He's uh, out of modern day in California. Uh, high four star. Then you got uh, Gerby Lambert, the high four star. He's 6'6, 280 out of uh, Roxbury, Massachusetts. Uh, Lambert hasn't visit yet, visited yet, so keep that in mind. He doesn't talk a lot, so you're, you're, we're not going to get a lot of info on where he's visiting and what he's doing. Um, so the keys to leveling up this offensive line class are landing these big fish. Um, so at least one more tackle like, like Baker or Lambert is huge. And the Buckeyes are still interested in Nathan Roy uh, from Wisconsin, 6'5", 275, four stars. So they have offers out to other guys. These are the guys that uh, Justin Fry is really focused on. So let's talk official visit schedule. We got, oh boy, June 2nd. That's our beginning of official visits. We've got running back, and current commit Jordan Lyle, 
from Florida. You got the Tennessee tight end Max LeBlanc commit. Um, I'll give you defense visitors tomorrow. We'll just stick to offense today. Um, now you got an offense heavy weekend, June 9th. You got Aaron Nolan, the Georgia quarterback and commit. Uh, you got the Texas running back, James Peoples commit. Uh, Ohio running back, Sam Williams Dixon, a commit. Uh, now you got uh, St. Louis wide receiver. We just talked about Jeremiah McClellan on his official visit. Then you got your commits, uh, Indiana tackle Ian Moore, uh, Ohio offensive lineman Mark Nave, and then uh, Brandon Baker, the O lineman, lineman we just talked about out of California. He is also taking his official that weekend. Um, what else? That's that's about it for offensive players. Yeah, the rest is defense. The rest of the summer, I mean, these schedules are going to change. More dudes are going to come in later in the summer probably. So I'll keep you up to date there on the offense. And uh, I think that's it. Hit me up if you've got any questions, anybody you're interested in, and uh, who, who grabs your eyes. So I'll talk to you later. Go Bucks.